Of you my heart has spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face from me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, Be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did, and not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly, and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, even when I said I am greatly afflicted. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving. 
and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for, for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn Christ Jesus, it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the shining cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart uh, by themselves. He, and he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. is working. We uh, should be able to watch the uh, DAS and support appeal video now. Um, I, there are uh, pledge cards in your pews, and so if you are ready to make a pledge today, that's wonderful, or make a contribution today, that's wonderful. There's a basket in the narthex to receive those cards. If you want to take the card home with you and then bring it back later or mail it to the diocese or mail it to the church office, that's fine. So oh, let's see what they have to say, if I can get this working.
as myself. Yes, I will love my neighbor. Thanks to your unwavering support of the annual Diocesan Support Appeal, more than 50 ministries, programs, and services provide a lifeline to our most vulnerable neighbors. After such a difficult year, with all of the uncertainty that 2021 brings, I want to express my heartfelt greetings and let you know I am praying that everyone remains healthy and safe and feels the presence of God's peace in their lives. The purpose of this year's Diocesan Support Appeal is more important than ever as the church across Western North Carolina seeks to provide essential aid and comfort to so many families and communities devastated by the global pandemic. We collect the food, put it inside trucks, and then we deliver them to the communities that we have identified as in need. I think what we are doing here is the perfect definition of love our neighbors. We, we have um, seasonal workers that wear a stock um, outside of Asheville with no food. And they were so grateful. They came out with umbrellas to protect us because it was raining. That day, we realized we all worked together. We were all brothers and sisters. Thank you for helping us to help other people in need. There are serious education challenges and job losses have plunged families and communities into economic crisis. That is why the theme of our diocesan support appeal this year reflects the simple guidance from Jesus, love thy neighbor. I will love my neighbor as myself. This ministry is all about love. As soon as you step into this place, we want you to experience firsthand the love of God. I learned that from these examples, from these very people who come and are involved and are very much interested in how we're doing, not just as Catholics, but as people, as uh, individuals who are just, you know, young people going through college, that this is actually a family. Love thy neighbor truly just means accepting people for who they are. So when I came to A&T my sophomore year and I saw Thea House and I saw how small but how intimate the group was, I was, I felt at home. Right before spring break, and me and Paris decided to come here and just debrief and we were playing gospel music and just dancing around and it just felt good to have someone to share that bond with and that relationship with. Campus Ministry is really appreciative of your time and your prayers and your donations. Thank, Thank you for your support of Campus Ministry. Jesus tells us to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is what we as the church, as the disciples of Jesus, are called to do. Hello, my name is Nicholas Kramer. I'm a seminary for the Diocese of Charlotte, currently studying at St. Joseph's College Seminary. My discernment process began when I was first invited by a friend to attend Quo Vadis Days, a week-long retreat we hold in the Diocese of Charlotte for young men discerning. Later on, I was invited by a priest in our diocese, Father Brown. To continue my discernment process, consider entering St. Joseph's College Seminary. I would like to extend to you, the people of the diocese, the invitation to support myself and my fellow seminarians through the DSA Support Appeal, so that one day, God willing, when we're ordained priests, we can give the love that our Lord has given us back to you, the people of the diocese. It would mean a lot to me and my brother seminarians, and from all of us, I extend to you a heartfelt thank you. Yes, I will love my neighbor as myself. With all my heart, with all May our diocese and parishes continue to share God's love with our neighbors in need. And may God bless you all and keep you safe. Thank you. With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, I will love you, Lord. I will love you,
Please stand for our symbol of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Inspired by Abraham's faith-filled confidence in the Father's love and concern, we bring our prayers to God. For missionaries and caregivers who serve abroad and at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of industry, that they may be conscientious stewards of the earth's resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing a crisis of faith, that may they be inspired by Abraham's witness of faith in God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are facing mountains of doubt or anxiety, may they gain knowledge and assurance through Scripture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this church community and the challenges we face, especially those who feel they lack the gifts to share time and talent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer the Mass today uh, for the happy repose of the soul of Jane Roberts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please add your own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Abraham, Isaac, Moses, and Elijah, aid us to be faithful servants as we offer these prayers. In the name of your holy servant, Jesus Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite those watching this recording to make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ now.
my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, I wanted to uh, tell you that uh, St. Joan of Arc recently received a $2,000 grant from Oregon uh, Catholic, uh, Catholic Press, OCP. That's the supplier of our, our missalettes and hymnals. Um, this money was used to replace um, some very worn and tattered Spanish hymnals, uh, as well as getting covers for the ones that uh, needed repair. Also included in this grant was an additional 20 book racks for our pews. Um, at the time of this announcement, uh, purchases are still uh, being made. Uh, we would like to uh, thank Rita Pisano uh, again for, com for uh, submitting that grant and um, thank OCP for uh, uh, grant giving us uh, that money to use uh, in a way that is, that is so needed. Maybe not in this moment right now, but when things return to... Uh, to uh, something we're a little more used to. Uh, the Knights of Columbus will be collecting non-perishable food items uh, in a box in the narthex. Uh, this is for loving food resources. This will be throughout Lent. Uh, please bring your non-perishable food donations uh, when you come to Mass. Uh, the little black books for Lent are available and they're outside um, uh, on the uh, po front porch of the church. Um, as long as the weather does not get to them, 
they will be out there. We will just leave them out there for you. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, and of course, just to remind you, at the end of Mass, uh, we ask, you remain to ask that you remain in your pews until our hospitality ministers escort you out of the sanctuary. Please do not linger in the aisles, the narthex, or the portico in front of the church. Uh, in order to maintain safe distancing, we ask that you continue walking out uh, to the parking lot. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Bow down for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. And keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.